Okay, I'm at Nancy Lewis's house. Um, Nancy, next year you're going to want to trim all these hemlocks and all the spruce trees around the whole property, all the evergreens. So next summer, it's something you should really plan for. I spoke to the guys about uh, making sure that the idea is this is going to grow higher over time, all the uh, skip laurel. All right. Um, in this area, we have two carracks, which do, will do well in kind of the watery, shady conditions. This, the three coreopsis, one, two, four nepeta, one, two, three, four um, salvia should be moved to another area of the property as part of the project in the fall. Okay. Um, we talked about moving this one taller dogwood tree into the back corner and then moving this dogwood tree to fill its spot over here. Okay. Um, this boxwood probably needs to be replaced. It's almost dead. And we need to add some drainage in, in here so these three aren't yellow. Okay. Um, then we talked about moving... Taking out the Cronada Holly, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight Cronada Holly, roughly 18 by 18 inch. Transplanting one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen paniculata hydrangeas to make the arc around that edge, removing some of the grass, moving some of the sprinkler heads in that area, adding more drip. Okay, to, to relocate the, the hydrangea in those areas because it's going to grow way too big in here. Taking the dwarf hydrangea from the front and moving them to fill this area in the back. I'm sorry, to fill this area in the front. Taking some of the hydrangeas in the back and moving them to the front. All right. There's one limelight hydrangea next to the wall in the front that has a bright white flowers that would go in to fill, fill the gap where we removed the tree. Okay. Those are a stilby. I'm suggesting putting a stilby underneath those white hydrangeas for about 12 feet. Over there, there's a gap. You can get ones that grow about 30 inches to 3 feet tall in that area. Same thing, looks like possibly too much water for this boxwood. Definitely too much water for that nepeta. This whole area is going to be shifted and moved. So let's see, let's see here. You have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten hydrangeas. One, two, three, four, five. Morning light grass. Two bigger boxwoods that are roughly 30 inches tall, which these you might use for the front to fill in the boxwoods that are bad in the front. Right, then there's uh, one, two, three, four, five, six dwarf uh, green velvet boxwoods, which we talked about moving around by the fence. All right, um, three hibiscus over here, which we might move over here. Another pink hibiscus over here, so that's another pink hibiscus. Um, along the top of this wall, let's talk about this area first. Uh, this area, the reason why nothing lived because there's a big depression, so the water just sits in this area, so that it has to be raised up, and then the water would then drain down towards the lawn. So the idea was is move one of these hydrangeas to the corner. Two nepeta here, so this gets transplanted. One more from the front comes back here. Two more of the nepeta from the back come here. All right, so that was the idea here. We have uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight dwarf hydrangeas here. This is the limelight that goes in the front to replace the dogwood. There's eight dwarf. And we have one, two, three, four, 
five, six, seven, eight, nine more dwarf paniculata hydrangea that have to be transplanted, like I said, to the front. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Uh, variegated liriope that we'd end up planting in here. Two of those, again, go to the front. Two more dwarf paniculata hydrangeas. One, two, three, four. Boxes get transplanted in here. Replace those four with uh, bigger American boxwood to give you some size in here. All right, and then reposition the other one, two, three, four, five, six. Reposition the other six. To um, so that the spacing is equal, and then we have about another 15 foot by 30 inch gap here where we need to put some shade perennials that look that'll look good. Okay, one of these hydrangeas would go in to fill in the gap over there. Um, two horn beams have to be replaced that are roughly about three inch caliper, about 14 feet tall. Um, I think that's it. We'll talk to you soon. Thanks.